Yo, what is up everybody? It's Tuna. This video serves as sort of a uh, frequently asked question slash update uh, regarding the impending Doom build that I leaked started this league. So, the most frequently asked question, let's just get to it straight away because this is the thing that I've been sort of been asked a lot as I've been streaming here uh, live on Twitch and uh, is one of the things that has confused people the most, essentially. People are asking me, Tuna, why is it that I have to cast twice? Um, why is my Vixens not triggering? You know, once you get your Vixens, why is my Vixens not triggering? And there could be three reasons for that. So there are three main reasons as to why you will not be triggering your impending doom blast uh, on right clicking a mob. The first one could be that you have one curse over a cap. So essentially, you should be having a total cap of three curses. That is whispers of doom. That is one baseline. And there is a one that you get from your vixens entrapment. So that is a total of three. But remember that when you get your vixens entrapment, you have to uh, drop uh, on holy authority and you have to grab Val Bastion, right? That is really, really important. The second reason is because most of the time people ask me this is as soon as they have swapped into um, Vixen's Entrapment. And at that point, the most likely scenario is that they have a, a, a brand new curse in their gloves, such as, for example, Punishment, right? And you can see that uh, Punishment is... Um, uh, let's just put it for the purpose of this video, like right here, right? So you can see that punishment has uh, this much AOE, right? It is it, it is like a little bit, uh, very, very small in comparison to something um, like a leveled up temporal chains. Um, as you can see there, right? It's like much, much bigger, the AOE. I uh, should be clear if I take off Spell Cascade. So you can see that the AOE of that is uh, a lot bigger, right? Uh, so what is happening is that the AoEs are not overlapping. And essentially, there's going to be a bunch of mobs that uh, are not cursed uh, or the curses are not basically overlapped on. And if you're not overlapping your curses, um, what happens is that basically your impending doom doesn't trigger. As you can see, like uh, it's like looks looks weird, right? There's a small curse within a big curse. But if you were to put like a level 20 there, they're, they're basically all overlapped on top of each other. And that is how you trigger your curses that way so yeah that is um how to avoid that this uh the second reason would be because um you are running out of mana right and this is a big concern especially early on um when you don't have like yes bases that give you like uh, energy shield um you know you might not have dodri scorn or like anything like that and yeah basically that is fixed by getting a little bit of flat energy shield both on getting um you know your shield your helmet your gloves since just fixings are going to give you a ton of yes that way as well as of course uh valbastion which gives you regen as well as a, a little bit of um you know sustain that way for single target on top of that if you do want to be able to spam endlessly on single target you do need the regenerate energy shield per second uh, while a rare unique is nearby so this is going to sort of enable you to have infinite sustain on single target um so yeah uh so your your curses would not trigger in your vixens causing you to sort of not be able to overlap because you're running out of energy shield essentially right as you can see here that i'm sort of um on the edge but basically uh, if there are rares nearby or if uh, i'm killing monsters i'm getting a ton of regen so i do sustain that way so there's no problem at all for me so yeah, that those are the main three reasons as why um you might not be actually proccing your impending doom uh, upon right clicking a monster um, so now that I've talked about like sort of what, what the issues are early on with Vixens, I want to sort of um, talk about some of the issues that you might have very early on when you're swapping. And essentially that is basically going to be the problem that um, you're facing when you first swap into Vixens uh, at early levels and or when you swap into Impending Doom at early levels. And that is that you're not sustaining energy shield. And that is a that is a big concern because, um, you know, you're going to have like decent clear. Uh, and the, but then you're going to get to like a single target and you're not going to be able to deal any damage whatsoever. That is alleviated, obviously, by having energy shield bases. And you can go about it by, uh, you know, getting some energy shield bases while you're leveling. But the easiest way, and this is just something that you can do that fixes the problem instantly. The easiest way to fix this is just to get a discipline uh, while you're leveling. Get a discipline aura, buy it from Act 3, and you're basically just a problem solved, right? You don't have an issue anymore whatsoever. Um... With your energy shield until later uh, obviously it is not ideal you don't want to have the discipline or um you know reserved the entire time so yeah basically you spec eldritch battery you grab discipline and you should be okay to cast your stuff for a while and then later on uh, once that's fixed and once you get some flat energy shield and regen on your belt it should not be a problem whatsoever um 
And that is pretty much the main uh, questions that I've been getting uh, about this build. Uh, so far, I have progressed into T16s. I'm sort of at the, this is the very, very start of day two for me. So I've got my T16s already sort of stacking up there. I farmed um, about 13 divines yesterday, as well as all my gear and have a couple more things that, you know, I need to sell still. So I got a ton more stuff. I'm doing an uh, expedition as well as uh, delirium. Now, today I'll be working on getting all my favorites and just finishing up my atlas. So I get all of the passive points there. Um... So the upgrade order that I followed specifically is the first thing I bought was Vixen's Entrapment. Uh, that's because it just basically enables the build. Um, the next thing that I bought was actually Apep's Rage, but you can sort of buy Dodri's Scorn because that is just extremely cheap. That is very, very cheap. Uh, so I went uh, Vixen's, Apep's, uh, Apep's Rage, Dodri's Scorn, and these alone will give you just a ton of damage to be able to progress into reds. I bought a Tabula Rasa, a normal Tabula Rasa, and then I upgraded that into a plus two AoE. Plus 2 AoE does actually give me levels to Impending Doom, but keep in mind that only plus 2 AoE and plus 1 uh, socketed skill gems are going to actually give you levels to Impending Doom. All of the others don't, uh, because um, this does not have actual, um, you know, it's not uh, a skill gem per se, it is a support gem. So basically, you need to be mindful of that. Only plus 2 AoE and plus 1 is going to work on that. Uh, I am still using a, a Winter Heart. That is because I think it's just a decent amulet to start. It gives me Cannot Be Chilled, which until I have ailment immunity is just really nice. Um, this in combination with uh, upgraded Brine King is going to give me uh, basically Chill and Freeze immunity, which Chill and Freezes are just extremely annoying. I hate them. So I just grabbed that and I anoint the Toxic Strikes. This is going to give me the 100% chance to poison, um, which is you know something that you need uh, until you have... Uh, Herald of Agony, you're not going to have 100% um, chance of poison. But when you do get, grab uh, Divergent Herald of Agony, you know, that's going to be soft. So you'll be able to uh, anoint uh, Skittering Runes and get rid of that. But you're not going to be wanting to do that on, on this amulet. You're going to be wanting to do that on an amulet such as, um, like, such as this, for example, Eternal Struggle. So, yeah, you'll pretty much put it on something like this. And, um, yeah. And the rest is just basically, like, very basic rares. It's the stuff to, like... Um, my resistances and whatnot, you know, uh, I crafted a shield with Rog. I have another shield that I probably want to swap into right here. Mm, rings are just for resistances. And um, yeah, that is uh, basically the upgrade path that I followed for my character. The next thing that I'll probably worry about and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to work towards getting uh, the Eternal Damnation in. Uh, I'm going to shuffle some of my resist resistances and I will work towards uh, unspecking this side of the tree and anointing um, scurrying runes uh, so uh, that I can fit the cluster and I can get more damage that way. Also, a really big thing that I do want to get is the Death Rush. Death Rush is going to be huge for the build. I'm really looking forward to getting that. So, yeah, that is going to be probably the next thing I'll get. One thing that I want to sort of... Um, uh, highlight that is really good is this mastery chance to suppress spell damage is lucky i do not have 100 percent chance to suppress spell damage i'm at 78 um you know which, which is quite low and i only have like seven percent on my boots and i'm actually pretty sure that's like literally all i have yeah just seven percent of my boots and the rest comes from the skill tree so yeah this uh this cluster here with spell uh, is lucky is already without even the boots is gonna basically make you pseudo capped um what Lucky does is it rolls twice and it uh, it chooses the better value. So essentially, uh, if you have 7% chance uh, to suppress spell damage, that is pseudo capped. Although there is always the possibility of rolling, um, you know, being unlucky and rolling um, the 30% chance on two rolls. And what happens then is uh, basically you take 100% damage instead of 50%. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just basically rambling, but that is about it. Um, that is where I'm at with the character level 91. I'll work to get level 95 today and do all the changes that I described. And uh, yeah, if you have any more questions, of course, drop by the stream. If there is any more questions, also uh, drop them in the description. I'll try to answer them as I go. I am playing a lot these days. So <laughs> maybe answering the comments is not going to be that easy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find this helpful. If you did like this video, consider liking or subscribing. I do really appreciate it. And so does Klaus, my editor. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you've had a fantastic league start. I love you all and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.